Today I have the Yokogawa LS3300 AC power calibrator connected to my WT1800 power analyzer. I will one day invest in the new WT1800E power analyzer. Uh, but for now, today I'm going to show you just how easy the LS3300 is to use and how the displays and menus won't get you lost or confused. All features and options within the instrument are included as standard. Firstly then, the front interface. It's a nice clear screen which can be viewed from acute angles. There's soft keys down the side that relate to different functions on the menus. There's an adjustment dial, directional arrows and a keypad to help change settings very easily. Next, there are voltage and current settings, wiring configurations and utilities for preferences, remote access, maintenance and more. To the right side we have the output section and it does as it sounds and there's indicators for active channels and also for high voltage as well. Voltage is output to 1000 volts RMS and current is output to 50 amps RMS. There's also an auxiliary output for external current sensors too. So my WT1800 uh, is a 5 amp RMS input only instead of the 50 amp RMS model therefore I won't be going up to high current values today. Around the back of the LS3300 there are interfaces for communication and inputs and outputs for synchronization of up to three units for three phase calibration. So let's see what the LS3300 can do. First of all I'm going to initialize the unit The screen itself shows all voltage, current and power settings and to clarify this does cover all types of electrical power, not just VA. To change the voltage or current you press either the V or the I button. The ranges themselves go from 1 volt to 1000 volts. The level allows you to set the output level. If I change this output level to 100 volts, output on, the 1800 will auto adjust because I have it on auto ranging to 100 volts. Same with the current as well. So the current ranges from 30 milliamps and 100 milliamps all the way up to 50 amps RMS. There's also external current sensors as well. I'll go to 1 amp and set the level there to. 1 amp. The auto ranging happens and we have 1 amp on the WT1800. Let's confirm the power output by changing uh, some of the current phase shift uh, on the screen. Let's see how we can change that here. So if I change this, let's say to minus 60, a power factor of 0.5, it says power factor 0.5. And by the very nature of how we calculate active power, voltage times current times your power factor or your phase shift, you get 50 watts, which is to be expected. We can actually change the power factor as well to show leading or lagging values. And you can see the phase diagram at the bottom of the screen here changes as well. So now onto frequency, and this is going to be uh, quite interesting. Um, until the LS3300 was launched, the most capable active power calibrator in the market ranged to 850 Hz. This meant that manufacturers at best could prove up to 0.85% of what they actually advertised. In 2015, Yokogawa gained ISO 17025 accreditation for calibration of active power to 100 kilohertz. It is the highest ranging calibration laboratory in the commercially available market and means that as a manufacturer they can prove what they specify. Anyway, back to the LS3300. Their frequency range uh, sets a new record in the calibrator marketplace that it can range to 1.2 kilohertz. And even at 1.2 kHz, the 
1800 remains stable. The specifications on this then must be conservative as it specifies uh, a 0 0.2 increase at this range whereas what we can see is that it is much lower than that. What happens if we increase the current to 5 amps which is the range on my meter? I'll turn off the output first, the range to 10, the level to 5 and back on. As simple as that it will auto range and display accordingly. So at 1.2 kilohertz at 5 amps RMS we're looking at 5.0008 amps. That is very good. What happens if we look at low current? So output off, let's get 30 milliamps and put that back on. Forgive me, that's actually at 15 milliamps. Well, it's a 30 milliamp range, the level is set at 15 milliamps. And on the screen we have 15.004 milliamps, so again, very, very good. If adjustments are needed, uh, this can be done through the utility menu. If I go to maintenance, calibration, and the passcode here is 1111. Four ones, and here you can make adjustments to the fourth decimal point. Although there is no dedicated software, you can download LabVIEW and National Instrument Drivers, which can work with third party software platforms. There's also C sample programs available too. Overall, the LS3300 is a great new addition to the Yokogawa family and shows a progressive evolution in test and measurement technologies. Okay, thank you very much.